All right, let's go. Bunch of questions, show me where you at. Your motivation guys back here from the one and only Keith Allen. Man, I'm so excited because today we're gonna be showing you guys what it takes to consistently win your match, just like the fan favorite pro himself, Benji Fishy. All right, so Benji has been making noise in the pro scene, stemming all the way back to the World Cup qualifiers in chapter one, and he hasn't slowed down since. Benji is known for his crazy fast mechanics and his ability to consistently succeed in competitive events. All right, so make sure you guys pay close attention to today's video because you're not gonna wanna miss this one. But before we do it's time to sit back relax and get some of my favorite candy what is that y'all help me out it's that bunch of crunch yo and let's get this going all right, so believe it or not, Benji's success is not a direct result of his mechanical ability. Okay, so the positive outlook and confidence that he possesses is really what takes him to the next level. You know, we're sure you guys have seen the thousands of crack creative warriors with the top tier mechanics who, you know, have yet to accomplish anything in the pro scene. And although these players have more than enough mechanical ability to go pro, the mindset in which they follow is what holds them back. You know, even though these players know deep down that they are great players, they're still gonna question their abilities and play with fear. This is gonna cause them to miss out on plays that they could have really pulled off. You know, fights they should have won, POIs they could have contested, you name it, it goes on. You know, no matter what's the situation, man, Benji will always display confidence. Confidence, guys, is what allows Benji to play the best of his ability and avoid self-doubt. If you don't believe in yourself as a player, man, I say this all the time, your gameplay is gonna be heavily affected by it. You know, Benji knows for a fact that he's one of the best players in the world, and he uses this to really fuel his gameplay. You know, Benji knows that he needs to get a refresh kill quickly in order to really save his game. He's not gonna have hesitate and just think, oh my goodness, like what if I die? Or what if this player is better than me? That doesn't go through his head. He instead, he's gonna do what he needs to do. And he already knows that he's gonna come out on top. Even in situations where Benji does lack a little confidence, he's not gonna let it be seen by his teammates. You know, teammates really play off the chemistry and your energy. So if one player is clearly nervous, it's likely that the others are gonna feel the same way. All right, so aside from confidence, you know, you've probably noticed that Benji is extremely humble and overall just a positive guy. You know, a lot of people seem to believe that being cocky means you're confident. And and while that may be somewhat kind of like a little true, <laughs> in reality, man, cockiness is going to oftentimes cause you to overstep your boundaries. You know, your perception of your abilities as a player can become like kind of disconnected, right? And it can really cause you to make dumb plays you really aren't equipped for. You think you're better than what you really are. So you can still display confidence while being humble. And Benji is a perfect example of this. You know, Benji knows that he doesn't need to prove himself to anybody. Like his gameplay and accomplishment, I mean, they speak for themselves. And he knows that bragging to others is isn't simply, you know, necessary. And on top of this, Benji maintains an optimistic outlook on the game and life in general, really. I mean, he knows that surrounding himself with positive energy is gonna assist him with achieving his goals and just really bettering himself, not only as a player, but as a person in his life. You know, it may sound silly to a lot of you guys, but your mindset matters much more than you think, especially when it comes to being a successful Fortnite player. I tell people all the time, man, if you are always expecting the worst outcome and constantly surrounding yourself with negative thoughts, I mean, those thoughts are gonna be your reality. And if you replace these negative thoughts with positive ones. I'm telling you right now, I promise you guys, you're gonna see improvement in your gameplay. Your mindset matters in everything. That is why I'm your motivation guy. In order to reach the professional level in Fortnite, like Benji Fishy does, you need to follow a proper training regimen. Like, it's common for players to hop into the game for a couple hours to mess around and creative, you know, play some arena along the way. But these things are great, but, you know, the manner in which you approach each of these is really what matters. A lot of players are gonna treat their time playing Fortnite as nothing but having fun and messing around. While obviously fun should still be happening for you, you need to make sure that you're training properly and you're improving. You know, when you initially load up into Fortnite, you should start by following a set of warm-up routine. You know, this is going to help you guys get your hands warmed up as well as improve areas that you're struggling in. This means that you should be free building and aim training and fighting your opponents of your own skill level and grinding out maps, you know, that really improve specific skills like peace control. If you simply just load into creative with some friends and just mess around in a free for all, I mean, you're not really utilizing this time to your best ability, right? And so if you guys want to see the training routine that Benji used to really get where he is today, you're going to want to sign up for the Benji Fishy Bootcamp using the link in the description. In this bootcamp, you're going to get the opportunity to interact with Benji himself guys it's crazy as well as learn everything that you need to know in order to become a pro player over the 14 days of training that you're going to spend with him go ahead and click the link now if you guys want to learn more all right, so just like with creative, you need to be making the most out of your time playing arena. Of course, you know, there are times where you should relax and have fun with friends and your games, but if you guys wanna improve your in-game fighting skills, you should be using arena as a way to improve team chemistry and fighting strategies. You know, since arena fights are just pretty similar to those of cash cups or other tournaments, the way in which you treat arena is gonna heavily reflect in your tournament games. In contrast to popular belief, pro players don't hop on the game and just play scrims all day. <laughs> like the scrim scene with the top tier pros is almost 
completely dead now, unless there's like cash involved. But if you are new to the comp scene and have yet to develop your in-game skills, playing in open Discord scrims is going to help you guys out a ton. You know, these games aren't super realistic due to the storm rolls, but the experience that you receive in the in-game portion is definitely going to help you out for sure. You know, since there is a significant amount of dead time while playing these scrims, you shouldn't use them as your main way to improve though. You know, adding a few scrims at the end of your Fortnite session is a great way to really improve your in-game without wasting too much of your valuable time. All right, guys, so if you paid any attention to Benji's gameplay, I mean, you definitely noticed how gifted of a fighter he is. You know, his mechanics are just lightning fast and his aim is extremely consistent. This allows him to win practically any fight he decides to take and make securing refreshes in the end game a piece of cake. I mean, obviously we're not expecting you guys to reach the same level of fighting Benji's at right now, obviously, but you know, you need to make sure that your fighting abilities are the best they can be. This means that you need to be constantly watching pro player stream and just videos to really pick up any new strategies that they might be using and just overall, you know, just mimic their gameplay. You know, the pros are successful for a reason. So copying what they can do, I mean, it's really gonna help you improve fast. Aside from learning from, you know, pro players, just spending a solid amount of time in creative, fighting players of your skill level or higher, it's gonna allow you to also improve quickly. You know, in creative, you're gonna get rapid paced fighting practice that you would never be able to get in a real match. So in these fights, you're gonna be able to learn from the mistakes that you're making and be able to immediately fix them in real time. Being able to consistently win your fights is gonna give you guys a much better chance of winning your games and it's gonna allow you to overall score more points in competitive events. So make sure you guys get to grind it. All right, Butch Gretz Army, it's time for the question of the day. Would you prefer to really play with someone who is amazing at fighting or someone who has insane game sense? You know, both of these options can really be great. So just let us know what you guys think down in the comments down below. All right, in competitive Fortnite, teams will typically assign each player with a specific role. Arguably, the most important one being the IGL, who's gonna make all the final decisions and decide what plays the team is gonna make, along with strategizing each rotation. You know, next is the fragger. The fragger is the player who's gonna, you know, lead the team in mid-game fights, as well as just scouting and securing refresh kills in the end game. If the mode is trios, some teams will also have a support player who is responsible for supporting the fragger as he secures kills, and overall assisting the IGL when needed but you know since the game mode for the duration of 2022 is going to be duos you don't really need to worry about that too much for now all right so while being able to play your role efficiently is definitely needed man you shouldn't hyper focus on it like you should be able to just be a versatile player and just fill in for other players when it's needed as well all right so just say your IGL gets killed and you now have nobody to tarp for you you need to be able to take over that role and just tarp for yourself if you guys want to survive in the end game and so with Benji being the fragger of his duo he took the time to learn proper tarping strategies for the situations where his duo is knocked or just needs some time to heal. So just like a fragger needs to be able to take over the tarp, an IGL should also be able to fight just as well as the fragger. You know, just because you're an IGL, it doesn't mean that you get a free pass to just get carried in your fights. Like you should be able to at least carry your own weight when fighting and just know how to secure refresh kills if your fragger ends up dying early. But you guys tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel. Also feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. You know, being able to consistently win your matches like Benji is definitely difficult, but with the proper training, you can definitely make it happen. Listen, I'll see you guys in the next one. Once again, this is Keith Allen. Connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you soon.